All right, back with another Final Fantasy IX video. Uh, I believe we left off last time uh, on our way to Oilbert. That's even how you pronounce it. <laughs> see, I believe we're going north or south. I forget. Oh, south. Okay. Status effect is so good, especially with how uh, frequently I'm getting it to proc. It's like, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Yeah, I think it's just like right wrapped around the center here. Does 50% of your HP and damage, so you can just keep attacking him. It's not even worth it to heal, really. Hopefully. again, I guess, because... There we go. Like, compulsively save it more. 
as we get into or further into the game. Um, yeah, pretty much use up all of. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just use and we'll heal every everyone here, and then give her an ether. Perfecto. All right. Think. Yep, we're there. Wasn't there a? Uh, if I remember correctly, there's like a shop or like a a Moogle shop, like right outside of this area. Magic barrier, which means I'm guessing Aiko can't use her curative magic. Maybe it would have been wise to. Um, oh, there is a mock shop. Okay. Yeah, maybe it would have been wise to bring like Steiner or someone else along. This might be a good area to... Yeah, we're, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here, so we might just, uh, go back and, oops, and just try to get some more gill. Um, I think we can buy tents there too, so this will be like a perfect area to just kind of like grind away for a little bit, because we can still use our magic uh, outside here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Confuse. Perfect. Terrible situation to be in. <laughs> okay. have to scrap this battle because Bray is the only one left. Um, probably about to confuse Ico here. Maybe we can salvage this. Let's see. Huh? What? 
Everyone's making an appearance. Uh, I mean, Amaranth's probably about to die here. Oh, man. Oh, God. And what do they have, like 2,000? Oh! Yeah, that one's dead. Frey's about to die, yep. That is a game over. So, let me see, what is the uh, ability that uh, prevents confusion? Because that's, that's like the one status effect that keeps uh, sort of inhibiting us. Um, uh, so what is it? Clear-headed it must be. Okay. So let's see here. Do you have clear-headed? You don't. You have auto life though. So you got clear headed. Freya has it. Um let's see if we take off antibody and oh, not really any like undead enemies here. Amaranth? Does Amaranth have it? Return magic, that seems like it'd be super powerful. Um, we may just have to wait a little bit on that. I don't know if he has... Oh yeah, because we're still trying to activate that other ability. So we can't equip his better weapon yet. Because yeah, then we could do add status poison. But we're waiting for Chakra to level up. I mean, since he already has counter there, we just need to get Chakra uh, upgraded, and then we can switch to that. So, I mean, we gotta do some more battles anyways, but... Okay. Let's just hope we don't encounter a bunch of cactuars again. <laughs> Ooh. Alright then. Is this an Adamantois? Oh no. This uh, seems like it's bad news as well. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Let's see if it's uh, susceptible. Oh, it is! Perfect. That worked out really well, actually. Okay. causes trouble. Oh, okay, so it's associated with uh, whatever status effect you have. That's interesting.
I'm also curious. Oh, nice. Alright. I'm also curious to see if the abilities upgrade, uh, is it like per encounter or... Let's see. So if it's per encounter, then Choc Chakra should have gone up to 27 out of 30. Oh, it doesn't look like it is. Oh, it's it's based on AP. That that makes more sense. Okay. I don't know why I'm like just now figuring out all this stuff after beating the game like on multiple occasions. <laughs> This enemy is really annoying. If we just cast Reflect on everybody, like, what's that gonna do? I'm curious. Let's see, will it re reflect that cannon attack back? No. Okay. Did it negate the regen from Reese's Wind? It must have, because... Or no, seems like it's still working. Or no, that's just on Ico that... Ico has auto-regen anyways. Switch to that other weapon. Which, his attack's going up by 10, so his damage should be, like, nearly doubled, hopefully. So we'll, um, we'll use a tent here, and then we'll just keep battling until we see fit, I guess. I don't know when a good 
point to stop would be? Maybe at like 50,000 gil or something like that? Let's see, let's go back into town and let's look at like item pricing and stuff. We got 37,000 now. We buy, buy some pinwheels for Amaranth in the meantime. Okay, we'll get, ooh, yeah, we should probably get a few of these. Damn, yeah, we'll get three of those now. Uh, one of those for now. One of those. Definitely gonna want those, and then definitely gonna want this trident, and probably the diamond sword as well. So, we'll do a few more battles. I guess we can't buy tents, can we? Can't buy recovery items. Oh. Looks like we can't. Sweet. I'd like to have an even number of some of this stuff. Sweet. We know it's susceptible to silence and trouble, apparently. So, let's throw one of the. Or actually, let's just see how much damage he's doing now.
Ooh, stole a tent. Perfect. Oh wow, we're getting like 4,000 per battle, so... I say... Let's maybe do five battles. And then keep going. Nice, another Adamant toys. Yeah, that's super effective too, and those are only 200 pops, so... Oh, missed. I'll try it again, though. Oh, missed again. Maybe we'll freeze him. Alright, either way. Equip that. Yeah, and then, man, it, it's really hard to choose these abilities sometimes. It's also difficult to infer what the enemy types are going to be in any given area, too. Seems kind of random. <clears throat> Alright, um... Well, everything looks good, so we'll just keep going. Save it just in case we get four cactuars again. <coughs> okay.
Not really sure what that's gonna do, but... Stock up on like 50 of these pinwheels. <laughs> Doing a lot better this time around. Okay, uh, let's say three more battles. Very nice, okay. Alright, 15k, so let's keep going. different this time. Man toys.
Okay, say that's probably pretty good for now. We'll buy those remaining items, save it. Equip everything and then we'll keep going. Actually, probably gonna want uh, some more of those. Yeah. All right. Um, let's equip what we have. We can always come back. It also grants uh, clear-headed, too. Damn. And status darkness, okay. Wait, 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 wait. 
Maybe give him the green beret for now. Let's go. gear. I think that's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, um... It's tempting, but I still gotta have that equipped. That's right, forgot it was a magic barrier here. Oh cool, still use these though.
What an annoying ability. <laughs> 6,000 XP though. Almost debating whether or not I should just go back and get one of my other party members. <laughs> Which, uh. Yeah, I might just end up doing that. Um. Because I think there's a pretty. Yeah, let's just do that, even though it's gonna take some time. I think there's a pretty formidable boss in here. Um. Which, I mean, it's more XP, more items, more gill, so... It's gonna take a little bit of time. But, we're at about 50 minutes, so I think I'm gonna call this a session, and then, uh, we'll revert back. Get, uh, another one of our party members that can do physical damage, and then come back here. And yeah. 